Hello, my friends. I am here with Judges 8, 4 through 12. When Gideon came to Jordan, he and the 300 men who were with him crossed over, exhausted but still in pursuit. Then he said to the men of Sh Scotia, Please give loaves of bread to the people who follow me, for they are exhausted, and I am pursuing Zaba and Zolom, kings of Midian. And the leaders of Skirm said, Are the hands of Zaba and Zolom in your hand, that we should give bread to your, your army? So Gideon said, For this cause, when the Lord has delivered Zeba and Zolom into my hand, then I will tear your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and with bars. Then he went up from here to Palm and spoke to them in the same way. And the men of Palm answered him as the men of Sum, Sukkom had answered. So he also spoke to the men of Palm saying, when I come back to come back in peace, I will tear down this tower. Now Zobo and Zom were at Krakor, and their armies with them, about 15,000, all who left of the army of the people of the east. For 130,000 men who drew the sword had fallen. And Gideon went up from the road of those who dwell in tents, the east of Nobar and Jogbar. And he attacked the army while the camp felt secure. When Zobo and Zoma fled, they pursued them and took the two kings of Midian, Zoba and Zom, and routed the whole army. So anyway, while they're pursuing two cities, they asked for loaves of bread because they were exhausted and hungry. And they both said the same thing, that they weren't going to help them. So Gideon cursed them. Um, and most likely we'll see the curse come to fruition because of what they did by not helping Gideon and his the 300 men that were with him. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help this wonderful message reach people. Help to accept your wonderful son in their life. Help them have a wonderful, blessed day today. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to you guys there.